why is contribution important? So contribution is our sales minus our variable costs and contribution changes in direct proportion to the number of units. So if we draw a graph, the cost behavior graph again, so we've got units and then cost, or in this case, well, it, we can say contribution. So if we don't sell any units, there's no sales value, and we don't spend any variable costs, so there's no contribution. And then as we start selling units, we earn the sales, and we spend the variable cost, so we earn a contribution. And that contribution will change in direct proportion to the number of units. And if you think of a contribution on a per unit basis, that would be our selling price per unit, which uh, stays constant as regardless of the number of units, less our variable cost per unit, which also stays constant on a per unit basis, and that will give us our contribution per unit. So a contribution per unit will also stay fixed. And that's why when we change the number of units, our total contribution changes in the same proportion. So this makes it a very useful number. So if we picture a company, say a company makes a profit of 2 million, and we want to know how much will one additional unit of sales increase our profit by. So if we know the selling price per unit is 100, and our variable cost per unit is 40, that means our contribution per unit is 40. So if we sell one more unit, how much will our profit increase by? Well, we'll earn additional sales of 100, we'll spend additional variable cost of 60, our fixed cost won't change because they stay fixed, so we will earn a contribution of 40. So our profit will increase by 40. What if we uh, sell ad additional units, uh, 200 additional units? What will the effect on our profit be then? So our fixed costs will still stay the same regardless of what they are. They will stay the same and um, we will earn a contribution of 40 on each of the 200 units. So our total contribution will increase by 8,000 and that means our profit will increase by 8,000. And that is also something that's very important to realize here, that a change in contribution, or the, the, the actual change of contribution, is the same as the change on profit. And to illustrate why this is, if you think of the income statement, we have sales less variable costs, gives us contribution. And the only thing that we still need to deduct to get to profit are our fixed costs. So contribution, if that changes by 8,000, our fixed cost stays the same, so there is no change, then it means our profit will change by 8,000. So we, when we if we know what the contribution per unit is, we can very quickly calculate the effect on our profit by just multiplying it by the change in units. And then that will give us the change in contribution which then equals the change in profit. So we can see a contribution is a very important number and very useful number that we can use when we analyze um, how the, the factors that make up profit will have an effect on profit when any of those factors change.